When built and played right, Sethos is shockingly strong for a 4 star DPS. His kit can be confusing, but I am here to cut through all the BS and tell you everything that you need to know to bring out the most out of your Sethos. But first, a word from our sponsor. If you're considering topping up or purchasing the Welkin Moon in Genshin Impact, then you are going to love Loot Bar. Loot Bar is a platform that allows you to top up your Genesis Crystals and Welkin Moons in Genshin Impact at up to a 20% discount compared to the in-game prices. Your Genshin account is 100% secure during the process. The only account information you need to provide is your in-game user ID and the server region that you play on. Looking at current prices on Loot Bar, you can purchase the $50 Genesis Crystal Pack for $42.80, saving over $7. And the loot bar has also been endorsed by some of your favorite popular and trustworthy content creators. When you purchase the loot bar, you will still get your first time bio bonus. Once purchased, you will receive your crystals in game within just minutes. Sign up for loot bar today and you'll get an additional 5% off on your first purchase. You can sign up with the link in the pinned comment below. The primary way that you want to play Sethos is using his normal attacks inside of his burst. So you want to prioritize leveling his burst, as the EM scaling is greater than the attack scaling from leveling the normal attack. His normal attack is still valuable to level, so you'll level that after. Then, you can level his skill, but you can also just leave it at level 6, as it deals pretty negligible damage. For Seto's combo, most of the time you don't want to be doing aimed shot combos, as the damage he deals with his normal shots inside his burst is higher than the charge shots. And the charge shots also drain energy, which can make it hard to use your burst. So instead, you'll treat the charge shots as a means of pushing your damage further, if you'll be able to finish off the enemies by doing the charge shots added to the end of your rotation. However, if you have Sethos at C6, you can do one charge shot and get the energy back, so at C6 you'll always do at least one either at the start or end of his fail time. So while Sethos is in his burst, you want to be doing either N2D or N2W. N2D is performing two normal attacks and then a dash cancel, rinse and repeat. N2W is doing two normal attacks while holding down the walk button, then wait a very brief moment so that it does not go to N3, then go back to doing your normal attacks, rinse and repeat. It's very important to do an N2 combo and not go to N3, because Sethos N2 hits twice, and the added EM scaling from his burst goes on to each hit, so his N2 combos have far higher scaling than N3, as well as more aggravates. Between N2D and N2W, ideally you want to be doing N2W, as dashing with N2D consumes a lot of stamina. However, N2W is a pretty unintuitive combo that takes a pretty good amount of practice to get consistent with, and you lose a lot of damage if you accidentally go to N3. So if you are more comfortable doing N2D for the consistency, then by all means do it, but it is worth practicing N2W if you intend to main Sethos. So, a full Sethos combo with a C6 Sethos should look like Sethos C A E Q 7 N2W E. If he is not C6, you won't do the C A at the start, but you may be able to fit one in even without C6 if you are using double Electra with Fischl. So there will be two aimed shots at C6, and one before C6. Sethos weapon options are pretty simple. His best weapon is Hunter's Path, and followed closely behind Hunter's Path is Slingshot. Slingshot is an accessible 3 star weapon, better than everything other than Hunter's Path, even the other 5 star weapons. So if you don't have Hunter's Path, there is no reason not to just use your Slingshot. And even then, Slingshot is very close to Hunter's Path, so there's not much need to pull Hunter's Path specifically for Sethos if you already have Slingshot. However, if for whatever reason you don't have Slingshot or you just don't want to level it, you can use other weapons like Aqua, the First Great Magic, or the new Far Star Bow, Cloud Forged. Sethos artifact set choices are also quite simple. If you are using Farina, then Marashusei Hunter is his best set, but keep in mind, both of Sethos' best weapons are crit rate weapons, so you may overcap with Marashuse Hunter. But otherwise, Desert Pavilion Chronicles is his best set, followed very closely behind Wanderer's Troop, and Guilty Dreams is a bit behind both. For the main stats, Sethos always wants an EM Sands due to his EM scaling. Electro and EM Goblet are both viable, 
and different situations favor a different goblet. If you're using Aggravate with Sucrose, or if you're using an EM and Mainstat weapon like Cloud Forged, then use Electro Goblet. In any other scenario, just use whichever has better substats. For the Circlet, Crit Circlet is always better than EM, but if you are playing Quick Bloom and happen to have a high crit value EM Circlet, it will be as good as a Crit Circlet. For the substats, prioritize Crit, then Elemental Mastery. Sethos does not need ER substats, even if he has solo Electro, as his skill restores 12 energy to him and he does it twice per rotation. Since Sethos is an EM scaling Electro DPS, you want to be using him in Dentro teams to take advantage of that Elemental Mastery, so that will be either Quick Bloom or Aggravate. Quick Bloom is a great option because Sethos EM sentient stat and innate EM scaling allow him to make great use out of both Aggravate and Hyper Bloom at the same time, and because of Sethos high EM scaling for his own multipliers in addition to the reactions, he benefits very well from Elemental Mastery buffs. And in Quick Bloom, he can get a lot of EM buffs, 250 from Nahida, and 100 from Dentro Resonance if you go double Dentro. And the best team for Quick Bloom Sethos is Sethos, Farina, Nahida, Baizu. As mentioned, Nahida alongside Baizu for Resonance provides a ton of EM buffing for Sethos, while Baizu will also cover the healing for Farina's fanfare. Baizu's mini shielding with his burst is also helpful for pre preventing Sethos from getting interrupted, as Sethos is a ranged unit with very low poise. The combination of double dendro also helps ensure that you lose little to no aggravates. Another option for Quick Bloom is Sethos, Yelan, Nahida, Zhongli. This team is not quite as strong as the Farina double dendro team, but it's much comfier with Zhongli's shield and frees up Farina if you need her for the other team, while also not using Baizu if you don't have him. For Aggravate, one of the primary ways to play Sethos in Aggravate will be Sethos, Kirara C4+, Fischl, and Kazua or Sucrose. You really want to use a Kirara at C4 or higher, as she covers both the role of Shielding and Dendro Applier at the same time, but she's not great without C4 since she won't be applying Dendro. If using Kirara, keep in mind you do want her on Instructors for maximum value, and her shield won't be that strong with Far Star artifacts. Sucrose and Kazuha both work great for the Anemo slot. Sucrose allows for shorter rotations than Kazuha due to taking less fill time, but Kazuha has much better grouping and more room for vertical scaling with things like Freedom Sworn and his C2. Then Fischl is used as a strong sub-DPS option, as Sethos is good at driving her A4 and C6. The particles from Fischl and Electro Resonance can allow Sethos to fit in his aim shots to extend his rotation for extra damage as needed without running into much energy issues. Another good way to play Aggravate is Double Geo with Sethos, Nahida, Zhongli, and Chiari. This team is more comfortable than the prior since it uses Zhongli's super strong shield rather than Kirara's, but it does lose out on grouping. And without Anemo, Sethos does get less buffing, however, Chiari's own personal damage is high enough. Lastly, regarding Sethos constellations, he does not need constellations to be functional, but they certainly make him stronger. Since he is a far star, you should be aiming to eventually get him C6 over time. However, if you can't get him to C6 this patch, decent stopping points for now are C2, C4, C5, and C6. C1 and C3 are pretty small damage increases, so if you are at C1 and C3, try and at least get to the next constellation if you can, but don't feel like you have to keep going even if you are trying to save your primo gems. And that's everything you need to know to bring out the most of your Sethos. If you liked this video, please be sure to support the channel with a like and subscribe, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks, goodbye.